Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 20th, 2022. Well, yesterday, doggone it, um, we had a condition that was saying we were reaching that oversold condition, but boy, did we find some sellers yesterday afternoon pushing us down. Um, however, we reached a very oversold condition yesterday afternoon with that selling, creating this opportunity for a little bit of relief rally. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we take a look at the technicals of the chart, see if we can gain some information about how we want to approach today on this Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Boy, yesterday got pretty rough with that afternoon sell-off, really, really strong sell-off. And let's take a look at what happened technically here. We came very, very close from testing that 200-day moving average. And I have to say, when we get that close, we still run that chance that we could test that level, although we're seeing a bit of a bullish uh, move this morning. So it really is going to depend on how some of these economic data points and earnings results continue to turn out, whether or not we do get that relief rally or if we turn back to test that 200 day moving average we are so close to it it would be odd not to test it but that being said last night China central bank uh, lowered interest rates key lending rates um, because of their strained economic condition and that is providing just a little bit of upside energy here in the market although we still still have the uncertainty of of these um, reports coming out um, here this morning. So let's take a look at these technicals. Certainly we've broken that uptrend here in the diamonds. And if we were to rally back, if we start moving back up, we're going to wanna watch these price levels right through here. Price levels right through here provide a fairly significant level of price resistance, but that is a big point move to come back up into there. So that would be a nice little relief in the market. If we can push back up through there, then we'll start looking at testing these levels. But once again, guys, I wanna remind us that we're really, really close to that 200 day moving average. And if we were to stub our toe today on some of these economic data points, we cannot rule out that possibility that we push on down test that 200 um, and some support levels down in here to see whether or not we can bounce from that area keep in mind guys that as we continue in this downtrend and this is a fairly steep downtrend we could also see that possibility that Although we rally, we may have to rally and then do a lot of consolidating out here toward that trend. So watch that carefully. This is not probably going to be um, that situation where we just we see traders just rush back into risk. This has probably damaged a lot of folks' trading accounts and really um, um, shaken their confidence here in the market because the buy the dip has been punished over and over here over the last month. So watch closely. We may not get that quite as energetic rally to the upside unless these economic data points come out very, very strong. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY, believe it or not, really is the strongest of the indexes out there. And let's take a look why. We are well off of our 200-day moving average. And notice in here, although we came down and we tested this area strongly here in the chart, this gives us a pretty substantial level to potentially bounce from. One of the things I do wanna point out, however, is notice that our short-term moving averages are crossing down through the 50-day and that our 50-day has started to roll over. So what that's going to do is as we rally back up, it's going to um, create a zone of resistance in that SPY chart. So watch that carefully as we rally back and let's notice these resistance levels in the chart are substantial at this point and we're going to have to work pretty hard to get back up through there so this zone of resistance right up in here could be um, could be challenging so as we rally back let's stay really really focused on those 
potential levels up here where bears could just be lining up ready to fight back. They have been pretty darn feisty and they're feisty because our earnings results have been varied and substantially mixed and so there is that uncertainty out there that we may not get that earnings surge that we've seen in past earnings seasons that would help us recover um, so watch that closely and then if we take a look at the qqq qqq i'm going to put qqq as one of the weakest of the indexes and as we continue to see bonds trying to rally a little bit this morning that continues to add pressure or bond yields i should say um, continues to add pressure to this technical sector or tech sector and we have a big tech report tonight and that could be interesting on how we perform here in the nasdaq keep an eye on this notice that we've pushed down in here we are ever so close to testing that 200 day moving average so that would kind of suggest that possibility does exist that we may still see that push down there to test that level and if we draw a line across there you can see there's a pretty substantial level of price support in there as well so we can't rule out that possibility if we get some bad reports today of a test of that level or if those bond yields continue to rise but if we can get that relief rally going let's take a look at what we could look for for price resistance levels notice right through here there's that pretty darn significant level and if I were to extend that line back over this way that's going to be a pretty tough area we're going to have to see some pretty substantial movement to get us back up through that level is it possible absolutely it's possible but we'll want to be paying attention to that if we can get if we can get a relief rally going and then also adding to that complication notice how sharply that 50-day moving average is starting to turn lower and our shorter term averages crossing down through so once again we've created that zone of resistance above that level of price resistance in the chart and if it takes us a while to rally back up there these moving averages could move down in here creating that zone of resistance even in the technicals on the chart and then let's take a quick look at that russell boy russell pretty bad shape here on the russell breaking down substantially notice we're running in a downtrend this trend is extremely sharp and probably not one that can be sustained so this would suggest some kind of relief rally is due here in the russell but let's take a look at this this is what I've been warning about. If we were to break that major support, that's a year long level of price support in the chart. And we certainly have sliced down through that at this point. So any rally back, we're going to want to watch that carefully. And particularly if that rally back somewhere intersects in here, with that downtrend for that possibility that we could continue to sink to the downside. And if we take a look at our technicals, our moving averages here, notice that we have a death cross, 50 crossing down through the 200, all of our shorter term moving averages well below that. So we've got a big zone of resistance above here. If we can get that relief rally going, I don't think I can look at this chart as a bullish chart for quite some time. We're going to have to break this downtrend and actually prove some higher lows before I'm going to change my opinion on that chart. Let's take a look at our um, um, economic, or excuse me, our T. Um, actually, I want to look at the VIX first. Let's take a look at the VIX. If we take a look at that VIX, this is a good thing for the market. Although we had that selling yesterday, notice that we really didn't spike. That last sell off that we had in the market, look how fearful the market became we don't have that fear right now in um, in this move so that does lend um, a little bit of help or support to that possibility of a relief rally now certainly we are elevated and price volatility is going to remain high but let's look for that opportunity that we could get a little bit of relief pulling back that VIX just a little bit. And if it pulls back into that 20 handle and hold support, that's where we're going to want to watch pretty closely. If we hold 20 as support and start to see selling come in again, that's where the real sell-off could begin. So watch that carefully. Hopefully we can hold in here, maybe even drift on back down if that relief rally can get strong enough. 
but I, there is still concern here in this chart. And then if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122, we pushed down here into this bearish reversal zone. However, notice right in here that we didn't quite complete that move yesterday. With all the pain and selling yesterday, we didn't complete that move to the downside. And that's why we hold out that there is that opportunity, that chance, if those economic numbers, earnings numbers, don't impress the market that there is that chance that we could test those 200 day moving averages in the diamonds and the QQQ pretty easily pushing us a little bit lower. So we'll have to stay on our toes for that possibility if we were to happen to get a pop and drop here this morning. That could be a pretty painful situation if folks chase in first thing this morning. And then if we take a look at our T2108, I got to tell you guys, this is not what we want to see in the market. 33% of our stocks holding above the 40 day moving average. And we've once again broken some support levels in this chart. Now we still have um, a much lower low that we could go in here. So we've held above that, um, held above these lows down in here. So if we can get a relief rally and come right back up through here, well, that may help us out quite a bit and start to relieve some of that pressure um, for that relief. And then our T2107, very similar here. We continue to struggle with this downtrend. Only 34, 35% of our stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. Um, that's a pretty tough situation to be in um, when we're seeing all of four of our indexes in confirmed downtrend. So watch that closely. We have a fairly significant level of price resistance in here combined with that downtrend. The good news is that we didn't make a new low here yesterday with that selling. So there is some of that hope that we can get a little bit of relief uh, back to test resistance levels in the chart. If we take a look at our T2101, absolute market breadth, very interesting here how absolute market breadth has been so extremely low, showing that that momentum in the market has been weakening. And it's interesting here that we're still underneath that downtrending area here in the chart. And we actually got a little push up yesterday on that selling, which is normal. We usually see market breadth increase on that selling move. But watch that carefully in here. If we get that relief rally, we could slide this right back down into this area. So keep a close eye on um, T2101. And then let's take a look at our economic calendar. Boy, our economic calendar, we've got a lot of uncertainty in the market because today we have a busy day of reports. We have got, as you can see, we've got a jobless claims number and Econo Day consensus is suggesting that that number declines. Um, remember, they also suggested that last week when we had a surprise build. And if it wasn't, if it hadn't been a, um, a smooth number due to seasonal smoothing, it was a big miss on that jobs um, or jobless number. So watch that closely today. If they happen to um, see a little bit more hope in this and it disappoints, that could be a negative effect on the market. If it comes in um, as they expect or comes in even stronger, that could be bullish. Take a look at this Philly Fed number. That could be a big number. And I want to point out just how badly we missed on the Empire Statement number. I mean, we missed badly. It was a horrible number on that Empire State. They are also suggesting here that they'll see an improvement in the Philly Fed. If they happen to miss that one as bad as they did here, that could be very bearish for the market. Watch that one carefully. Hopefully they do a better job of uh, predicting that number today. We've got existing home sales. Existing home sales are looking for a little decline. And then keep in mind, we've got natural gas and petroleum status. Now the petroleum status will be an important number today just because of the elevation. We're at seven year highs in oil prices. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that if we happen to see a surprise build in um, supplies that could push those in energy prices uh, lower. So watch carefully for that. Later on today, we have the Fed balance sheet. Um, I don't know that anybody's going to um, care about that. We just really haven't cared much about debt at all. Um, 
Um, so nothing there to worry about. And then as you plan forward, look over here. Not much going on here on Friday, and we're going to have a little bit um, fewer earnings reports on Friday, maybe a little bit of calming in the market. And that actually could help us out uh, for a potential relief rally. Just kind of clear, clear the deck here just a little bit, give the market a time to relax. So watch that closely. Now, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar is pretty darn busy today. We have um, about 60 companies listed on the calendar. And one of the things I want to point out, let's take a look at Netflix. Netflix has been a very bearish chart as you can see we're pushed down here into some price support levels in that chart but this is a really ugly looking chart double top high downtrend um, coming in the chart and they've had trouble maintaining um, subscriber levels um, this will be an interesting point in a, a report today. This comes in after the bell. This could be a market moving report. One of our first big techs coming out. Um, so watch that closely this afternoon. Um, as we travel through the day, we've got quite a few reports. We're going to hear from um, American Airlines. We're going to hear from um, a couple of railroads like UNP and uh, CSX. We'll want to watch those. We're going to hear from several banks. We've got KeyBank today. We've got MTB today. So we're going to have some regional. We're going to have some big banks reporting as well. Um, Regions Financial will be on there. We've got PPG on here. And we're even going to pick up a little bit of insurance with travelers today. It looks like Travelers has had a nice report this morning. So keep a close eye on these. Remember guys, if you want to catch the full list of notables, click that um, link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch those videos. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube if this is the first time you've seen these videos, and, and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful, to be helpful to you and you're planning for the day, please do me a favor, click those thumbs up buttons and leave that brief comment. It helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who does take advantage of that. You know, um, in in this preparation, this planning, um, we've been able to in the right way options group to make some serious money here on this sell-off because we've been focused on the technicals of the chart, because we've avoided the hype and the drama out there. So if you find these to be helpful, sharing these videos out with someone else can also help them. And I want to thank you for everyone who does take the time to do that. Let's take a quick look at some stock setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. And as a matter of fact, you're going to have to be very, very focused on earnings report dates. You're going to have to be very, very focused on um, these um, gyrations that the market has been making with these big emotional moves. However, having said that, guys, I want to point out that although we had that ugly selling yesterday, take a look at Coke. Um, right way options folks are actually making some money here on Coke, although we had that ugly selling the yesterday. These defensive sector stocks are holding up. Take a look at Coke. Take a look at Pepsi. Take a look at um, Mondelez. Take a look at Constellation Brands. All of these are holding up pretty darn well overall in the market. We saw some nice moves in Hershey yesterday moving to the upside. So these are all of those defensive sector stocks continuing to hold up pretty strong even though the market is showing that bit of bearishness and that push down, they're continuing to stay very, very bullish. Now I want to, um, I've been mentioning these the last few days and I want to continue to do this. Take a look at Merck. Merck continues to set up here in this chart, and that's looking just pretty darn good. You can see I've placed a price alert here in that chart, and the longer we consolidate out here toward the trend, the better this gets. So I'm in no rush on this trade, but watch that carefully as we get closer and closer if that pops. 
that could be a pretty interesting uh, move to the upside. Now, I don't expect it to be one of those that it just rips to the upside and makes a ton of money, but um, a move back up here to test this resistance level and possibly even pushing through that and into this gap would be a very profitable trade to the upside. So keep an eye on that. And I've also got to put BMY in that same category. Look right here in BMY, breaking through resistance in the chart, moving up in a nice upside trend, this nice resting pattern that we're seeing here in BMY. Very nice looking chart and has that upside potential. So keep a close eye on that. Once again, I don't think this is going to be one of those high flyers that's going to make you gobs and gobs of money really quickly, but a push back up here into these resistance levels in the chart and then maybe even pushing up toward those high levels possible. And it could be a very nice profitable trade in a market that is certainly a bit challenging here over all. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate it. And I want to wish you just great results today. And hopefully we can catch that relief rally, get a little bit of a break here, and then kind of slide into this weekend catching our breath here after this ugly sell-off. Have an awesome one, guys. We'll see you bright and early on Friday morning.